Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video today I'm going to be showing you the very best method in which to play your old classic Neo Geo CD games on the PC. Now unlike a lot of other videos on this subject I'm going to be going over various things in which you will need to do in order to get the very best out of your setup. So without further ado let's crack on and get on with this guide. Firstly, what you're going to need to do is go and get RetroArch. So we're going to head over to the website here. We're going to download the latest version to your desktop and then we're going to unpack it into its own folder. Once this is done, RetroArch should look a little something like this. Once this stage is done, we're going to need to go and get the Neo Geo CD BIOS. Now, because YouTube is a little bit touchy on the subject, I'm not really allowed to give you those. So you do have a few choices here. If like myself you do just happen to have a Neo Geo CD hidden away in a loft or packed away in a garage somewhere, then you can simply get that and take it out of storage and then you can get the BIOS from that system yourself simply by learning how to dump files from your own consoles and systems. Another option is to simply use Google and search for yourself but really I don't recommend that because honestly you don't really know if what you get is what it's claiming to be. However there is a much easier option that you can use and that is using a type of custom created BIOS which isn't an official one but works kind of the same but then it's just different enough to be okay to use so long as you do actually own a Neo Geo CD system. If you search on Google for the Universe BIOS you should come up with a link pretty much straight away on the main page and what you're going to be doing is you're going to be looking on that and looking for the 3.3 for CD. Once you have that and it's been downloaded what we're going to do is open up the RetroArch folder and look for the folder labeled systems. You're going to go into the systems folder and create a new folder and call it Neo CD. Go back to the file that you just downloaded and then drag that into the Neo CD folder which you just made. At this point we're going to open up RetroArch and then we are going to search for Core Up Data. Scroll down and look for SNK Neo Geo CD and click on it to download it. Everything at this point should now be ready for you to load a game. But here's where things do get a little bit complicated. If you are making dump files of your very own games then it's important to remember what format you create them in. It is vital that if you are loading it via this method that you create them as bin and queue files in order to be read correctly and work properly. If you try to create them as an ISO file with various music tracks labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 etc then these just won't work because RetroArch won't be able to pick these up in the core loader. So again, when you do make your own files from your own dumped games, make sure that they are in bin and queue format. To play a game, simply select Core Loader and select SNK Neo Geo CD from the list. Search where you put your game and then select either the bin or the queue file depending on what format it is and RetroArch should do the rest. And that's pretty much it guys. If you do have any issues or problems, just drop me a message below and I will do my best to get back to you. 